Mmm, tech news. It's really such a great protein rich snack. But please, really, don't eat the moisture absorbing packet inside the bag. Too late. Apple released iOS 14.5 last week, complete with a new app tracking transparency feature, which forces iPhone apps to ask permission before collecting user data for ad personalization. Well, Facebook obviously hasn't been a big fan of it, so they might start showing pop up education screens that educate the user on the benefits of personalized ad tracking. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Facebook. You see, idiot end user, allowing tracking will help keep Facebook free of charge and support businesses that rely on ads to reach their customers. The notice may also pop up on Instagram, which is, <laughs> who knew, owned by Facebook. <laughs> it's no secret that ad tracking is a big source of revenue for Facebook and other social media platforms. But the implication is that Facebook may charge you money in the future? Wait, Facebook. Are you, are you threatening me? Do you know who I am? <laughs> of course you do. Because you know the intimate details of everyone's life. Then you know what I'm capable of, oh. which is not paying for Facebook, damn it. Very capable of not doing that. So capable. <laughs> Researchers have found new variations of the infamous Spectre bug, which affects nearly every Intel and AMD CPU out there. It continues to haunt us like some kind of, some kind of ghost. Like a Spectre. A spe exactly. Patches for existing Spectre related vulnerabilities do nothing to protect processors against these new flaws. But there's good news. These flaws are extremely hard to exploit, requiring an attacker to directly target your machine and get through every other layer of security first. So we may not see any fixes for current CPUs, especially as the patches would reduce performance even more so than the first round of Spectre bugs. <laughs> Man, this Spectre is even more relentless than the one from James Bond. Yeah, that's not a different metaphor. It's not the same thing? It's not a ghost. I wouldn't go so far as to call foldable phones all the rage. I mean, do you know anyone that actually has one? No. No, I, what do you mean Linus? Linus. Yeah. yeah but he doesn't actually use it because yeah. it's kind of crap. But that isn't stopping Apple from dipping its toes into the uh, <laughs> folding water. As a report from longtime Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo indicates that Cupertino wants to sell up to 20 million Samsung OLED based foldable iPhones in 2023. That's still a little ways off, but several notable Chinese phone manufacturers are expected to start selling foldable models within the next year and may end up shipping a total number of units close to what Apple is looking at selling just two years from now. But just watch, these folding iPhones are gonna be way cooler than AirTags. They're gonna have a room for a loop in it. Are they gonna be Air Hermes? Now it's time for the Quack Pads, brought to you by Seasonic, maker of power supplies that deliver ultra efficient power to your PC in a way that's simply indescribable, unless you describe it in the way that I just did. The Seasonic Prime Ultra Titanium Power Supply is fully modular, has fluid dynamic fan variants with a hybrid fan control to mitigate noise, and comes with a PSU tester inside the box. That's like, at least a dollar value. It's got a 50,000 hour life expectancy and a 12 year warranty. So stop holding yourself back. Buy it at the link in the description today. Quackity bats are the little crumbs you find on your coffee table from when you ate a cinnamon bun the night before and they're still tasty. They're like a little hardened. Mm. The Apple versus Epic trial started on a decidedly unepic note when the phone line that allowed observers to listen in on the proceedings was left unmuted. <laughs> really? Yeah. Somebody's getting fired. Gamers quickly started chiming in asking for Fortnite mobile back. Are you, is this a joke? No. Oh geez. And using plenty of foul language. The court did eventually get things under control, but I think they should have left it. The gamers probably had some good points to make about all of this. There's the people on the ground. Yeah. I know what's up. Yeah, cause that's what lawsuits are about. <laughs> the end users. Verizon is selling Yahoo and AOL to an investment firm for five billion dollars. <laughs> Wait, AOL is still around and worth money? Yeah. What? Well. <laughs> Turns out it is, as AOL was actually the parent of Engadget, TechCrunch, and a few other well-known sites. Yahoo, of course, still offers email, a web portal, and sports coverage, amongst other things. This would all sound pretty routine if Verizon hadn't bought the two legacy internet companies for nine billion in 2015. Wow. <laughs> they didn't get the memo about the dot-com bubble bursting, I guess. <laughs> Back in the 90s. I, I'm not very good at math, but I'm thinking those numbers don't line up. I think it's, they were taking a GameStop bet. Ah. 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 Intel has big plans for its fabs in the US, as Team Blue has announced it'll be spending three and a half billion dollars. You know, it's just billion. so much math to be upgrading its fab in New Mexico, creating 700 jobs. The refurbished plant will be using Foveros, a method that allows 3D stacking of chips that Intel expects will make its manufacturing more versatile and more competitive with the likes of TSMC. Maybe it'll be fueled by uh, green chilies. That's, uh, that's what we've been missing. 
Yeah. You just squeeze it on there. I'm more of a, a red chili kind of guy. If you're a PlayStation gamer that's been hoping for a better chat forum, you're in luck as Discord is looking to be coming to PSN early next year. Unfortunately, we don't know if it'll be akin to the full fat version for desktop or if it'll be scaled down somewhat, but it'll be nice to have an option that appears to be more cross-platform rather than relying on relatively discordant services. That isn't owned by Microsoft. <laughs> uh, not yet. Dodge the bullet. Eh, it might still happen. What? And fingers crossed, random products you buy off Amazon might be getting a little safer. A court in California has ruled Amazon bears responsibility for the safety of the products it sells, even if those products aren't Amazon branded. There are obviously lots of shady products on Amazon Marketplace from third parties, so hopefully now that automatic knife block you've got your eyes on won't kill you. Like last time until Amazon kills you. That's our show. Come back Wednesday for more tech news that never needs sharpening and won't kill you. Bonus. Not like those other shows. Yeah, we also, we can't, we can't certify that. You might die.